Hey, what's up, y'all? Duke CT here. And, uh, got some things I want to talk about today. Uh, first thing, um, my, uh, Monday Night Raw top 10 guest host list is finally done. Yay! And, uh, and, um, yeah, it's uh, right there. The link in the description the Duke CT Lounge. It's right there, hopefully. So, you can go see it, what have you. Give me comments, criticisms, comments, criticisms, and all that good stuff. Comments and criticisms and what have you. Uh, but honestly, um, another thing I want to talk about is the Monday Night Raw. Well, let me get this uh, right out of the way. Um, let's see. I'm going to do your comment first. Look at the, uh, you know, First off, I gotta give something that makes little to no sense. I gotta talk about these things. Um, I have to. Uh, I really have to talk about this. This the fatal four way match on Monday Night Raw. Can someone tell me what was the point of that? Please. I mean, you could have. Um, I don't know. Put that match on pay per view. And another thing, why have Miz win the match? That's the thing. Why have Miz win the championship match? The championship, uh, US, the U.S. title, the one he lost to uh, the lost to Truth in the first place. I talked the same way to uh, I think uh, LV54 said that back on Twitter, or what have you. I think, uh, uh, yeah, he said that on Twitter. Um, you know, me and him went back and forth on Twitter uh, last night. Uh, also, if you want to follow LV, I uh, can't believe I'm promoting his stuff. That's cool. If you want to follow LV, the link in the description as well, how to uh, follow him on Twitter. And also me on Twitter as well, if you want to have any uh, random thoughts from me. Uh, if screwed. You, you do want to see uh, random thoughts from me because, well, it's my channel and you're watching my video now, so... Yeah, anyway, <laughs> it just what goes on to say is like, why have this match on pay per view? Why didn't this match have on pay per view? And two, why didn't this match, why did have right have him win the championship? Why have him lose the belt to Bret Hart and then lose to uh, R True just to have to get it back after two or three weeks? The word is pointless. It's pointless. Why? Other than that, I'm happy that they actually are having some matches on um, Fatal 4-Way. Some matches. Um, including, um, you see the U.S. Championship match. But a negative is a Divas Champion Fatal 4-Way match. And they couldn't announce this earlier, but honestly, who cares? <sighs> Moving on, let's talk about well, what's main part of all, the ending. Well, the ending, I mean, you know... This is the reason why I do most. I gotta say is the the main problem with Monday Night Raw was Bret Hart. I love Bret Hart. I think Bret Hart is probably one of the greatest wrestlers, hell, to ever lace him up, and no one would 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 disagree. But a promo, dear God, he sucks. He, I don't know what happened. I mean, I know he wasn't great on the mic, but he was at least passable. But my God, he sucked on the mic last night. I don't know what else would happen. Did he not go over them over and over? I mean, oh, God. Mm, his WWF slip, his, his, um, his, all his, his stammers and everything else. He should at least, I hope he practiced. And I, God, God forbid he just went out there uncut and just went up there and said, ah, yeah, I got it. Someone like that, or Bruce Campbell from the Army of Darkness, what have you. And just just went out, just repeated the words like three or four times and just went out there, but I doubt that. And the ending. I mean, this is the reason why you don't have a stroke victim that can go get hit and if you punch him and beat him down any times, any beat down can you can't beat him down. You can't physically hurt him. So what they do? They stuff him into a limousine and have the car I had the limousine ram him back and forth four or five different times. 
And and that's not the worst part. The worst part is the ending with Bret Hart. I mean, honestly, he looks like he's laughing at the end. I mean, he's like this. I'm not making this up. That's what he looked like. He looked like he was laughing. Oh, man. <laughs> this NXT thing could have been something good. And it still can be good, but... Wow. Even if Daniel Bryan was there, and that was the main plan... Ugh. At times like this, I think it could have got better with Teddy Long as an all-around general manager, or what have you, or someone else... I can take a bump. No one. That, that, it's just like, you know what? If it was Shawn Michaels, who did a general manager or what have you, came back as GM, he could take a couple bumps or take him punches or kicks or what have you. He could take that. Hell, Rock could take that. And you know, that's the problem. You just can't take any bumps and you get this. God, that was a piss for me. But other than that, Raw wasn't really that bad. But anyway, uh, that's all I have to say. Oh, and um, one more thing. I'm going to uh, see the uh, Karate Kid movie today. So hopefully it's going to be good. Anyway, that's all I got to say here. Do see to you. Peace, love, don't forget, links in the description, LV54's, uh, 54's uh, Twitter, as well as my Twitter and my video for the top 10 people I think should be the next guest host of Monday Night Raw. Hopefully y'all will enjoy it. And that's all I got to say, Duke CT here. Peace, love, I will see y'all when I see y'all later.